Hello everyone, my name is Alvina from Bond Smile. If you're here for the first time, Bond Smile helps people just like you to live their best life in Thailand. Team Bond Smile will help you to find the best place to live, the right kind of visa, the best place to shop, start a business, or even retire in Thailand. If you have any question about Thailand, complicated or not, ask us on our website, bondsmile.com. Today's video is going to be my very own personal experience going to university in Thailand. This video is going to be a little bit different since I received a list of questions which I will cover in this video. I hope you guys will like it. But before we begin, please go ahead and click that like button. When you click the like button, it helps our channel to grow so more people like you can find our videos. Go ahead, click the like button it doesn't cost you anything and we are trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by August this year. So please go ahead and click the button. So what are some of the top universities in Thailand? The top 5 highly ranked universities in Thailand are Mahidon University, Chulalongkorn University, Chiang Mai University and Kasit Sar University. We've added a list of top 10 universities in the description below. What are international programs? International programs are taught in English at almost all universities in Thailand, which means that students who speak English can come to university in Thailand. You don't have to speak Thai. How much does it cost? Universities in Thailand cost a lot less than universities in the West. Chulalongkorn is not only Thailand's top university, but one of Asia's top-rated universities and ranked very, very highly around the world. We are going to compare a cost of a year for an undergraduate degree at Chulalongkorn University versus New York University, another top university in the world. I got the prices directly from both websites for, of universities for the school year of 2022. A year at NYU will cost you 80,878 US dollars. A year at Chulalongkorn will cost you 4,000 US dollars. So obviously that's a very, very large difference. In fact, the cost of going to Chulalongkorn is only 5% of the cost of going to NYU. So of course the universities are not the same as well. But let's be real. Are they that much different? Is the course material going to be dramatically different? You could say that a student who graduates from Chula would have a good chance of getting a job anywhere in the world without the college loans to pay off for another 20 years. What can you learn at universities in Thailand? Just like any other university around the world, you can study for a doctorate, master's, and undergraduate degrees. At universities in Thailand, you can study things like medicine, computer science, architecture, engineering, AI, robotics, MBA, and any other programs that you can study at the universities in your home country. Is my university degree from Thailand accepted in other countries? Yes, just stop to think about it for a moment. No one would send their children to study in Thailand if afterwards their degree was not accepted at other countries. Where do the students come from? Thai schools attract students from all over the world. There are some of the leading universities worldwide here. So this section going forward is going to be about my experiences going to a university in Thailand. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments down below and we will do our best to answer each one of them. Explain about your journey from Russia, Canada and then to Thailand. Whew, that's a tough one. Okay, I graduated high school when I was 16 in Russia and then my parents sent me to study in Canada. First, I studied ESL, English as a Second Language, at Thompson Rivers University in Kamloops, British Columbia. Then I continued my studies for business administration program, but business administration didn't really sit well with me. I wanted to study something more humanitarian, so I transferred 
to a university in Vancouver, Simon Fraser University, to study communication arts program. I studied there for about a year and then I took a leap year to go traveling and pursuing my modeling career. So I traveled around Asia and then I ended up in Thailand. And after I stayed for about six months in Bangkok, I realized that I really enjoy my life here a lot more than I enjoyed my life in Canada. So I transferred my studies from university in Canada to Bangkok University and they were happy to accept me here. So I continued my studies at Bangkok University. What was your first week like in Thai University? I don't even remember, <laughs> but okay. I think it was, it was just about the same as going to university in Canada. We had classes and I had a good group of international students that I would hang out with. And yeah, it was just a very normal routine of going to a university. Except Thai food. Yes, that was different. There was a lot of Thai food at the canteen. Are classes taught in English? Yes, all the classes are taught in English. In fact, most of the professors at international programs are foreigners. And if they are Thai nationals, they are required to have a master's degree or higher at a university in an English speaking country. Did you have to learn any Thai? No, I didn't have to learn any Thai for the time being that I was at university and I only learned Thai language two years after my graduation. What was the biggest challenge in going to university in Thailand? Did you want to go back home? That's a good question. For me, the biggest challenge personally was that I was juggling both going to university and modeling career. So I had to, sometimes I had to take extra assignments or maybe I would have to talk to professors about missing some days and things like that. But did I want to go home? No, I was very happy here. I was very active and I had a lot of good friends. And one of the perks of studying in Thailand is that traveling is affordable even for international students here. So whenever there was like a Songkran break or even long weekend, we would have, we would hop on a bus or a train or a plane and then we would head to the islands like Phuket or maybe I will go see my friends in Chiang Mai or even Koh Chiang. Do you have to wear uniforms? Yes, you have to wear uniforms, but in my university, it was only mandatory to wear uniforms for examination days and uh, for regular classes, you could just wear anything. So as long as it's not too revealing. So most of the, most of the times we would wear jeans and t-shirts and maybe a hoodie. Do you think that you will have problems with your degree being accepted anywhere else? No, I don't think I would have a problem with my degree anywhere else. In fact, I know that it's accepted everywhere in the world because all of my friends um, that I went to university with, they all successfully found work both in Thailand, in Russia, also in other countries. I have friends who work in New Zealand, England, US, Dubai, virtually anywhere. What countries did some of the other students come from in your classes? I had, um, we had a very good mix of students. So we had some Asian students from China, Korea and Japan, of course Thai students, um, Thai students are a majority and other foreigners from Europe, um, I had some students from Germany, Netherlands, France, Italy, we also had students from the US and even Mexico. Have you kept with anyone else from school? What are they up to now? Yes, I do keep in touch with some of my friends from university. A lot of them are working at different companies. Some of them started their own businesses, but pretty much everyone is successful and moved on with their life. 
how much did it cost per semester per year? Um, so back in the day, it was a little bit cheaper. So I would pay $1,500 per semester. So it would be around $3,000 per year. And then my living expenses were about $600 to $800 US. What about the visa situation? So once you get accepted to the university, they prepare um, documents for your visa and then you need to apply for a student visa at a Thai embassy in your home country. They usually issue a visa for three months and then once you're in Bangkok, you can extend this visa for first for six months and then for a year. And then basically you just extend it for a year uh, you don't have to leave Bangkok, you can do it here in Thailand. And also, um, the immigration has a right to revoke your visa if your GPA falls less than 2.0. Going to a university in Thailand is a pretty interesting thing to do for someone who wants to get a different cultural experience. You would be studying the same thing as you would in your hometown, only in another country. If you are from the UK, US, Australia, or if you're planning to attend a private university in the EU, Thailand is definitely worth having a look at. No harm in checking it out and asking questions. And if you are a parent and you have a student that you want to send to study in Thailand, then beside low cost, your child would be in a very respectful and safe society, much, much safer than at top Western universities. The food is healthier here, the degree is accepted anywhere. And best of all, you or your child will have a great international experience that will make them more open-minded about the rest of the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! What are you waiting for? 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 Yes, correct. What are you waiting for? The world may not be in a great shape right now, but it's very possible to come to Thailand. It's actually easier to live in Thailand for a longer time than it was before. With one smile can get you the right long-term visa, find a perfect house, open the local bank account or even open the business here. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below or go to bansmile.com and get started.